morning, everybody. Welcome to Jay Speak. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, thanks for all the subs, likes, and comments and questions. I love it. Keep it coming. And uh, this week we're going to talk about uh, orange amps. Um, I was writing a blog for them. I recently just finished. Uh, there were two articles that were just published. I'm going to put the links below. So if you're interested, check them out. Uh, one is concerning cabinets and the size of your cabinet, why it matters, you know, 112 versus 212 versus 412. They all have their merits, their benefits. You got open back and close back. And then you've got tons of options laid out across the landscape of every brand manufacturer. Um, I obviously happen to really like orange. Uh, the only cabinets I use are the orange open back 212 and the orange close back 212. And I had built a custom cabinet that is modeled after orange's open back. Um, that one has green backs in it. My open back orange has V30s and one close back has stock V30s and the other one has G12H is the anniversary edition. Um, so there I can actually use both cabinets and create this just ginormous uh, sound, which is very cool. Now, not to say that other cab manufacturers are bad. I've gone through the Marshalls, the 1960s. I've gone through multiple Mesa cabs. Um, I just really found a home with orange at this point. So that is my place and my journey. Um, but that article explores more of the different nuances of the 112, the 212, and the 412. So if you're interested, check it out. The other article um, was concerning, you know, emulation and all of the new solid state amps to hit the market. And basically anything pedal wise, solid state, um, IRs, all that stuff against just your, your tube amp. You know, what do you do with all those choices and where do they all shake out? Is all of that new technology going to replace the tube amp? Um, so it's, it's interesting, you know, I, I think it is. But um, yeah, check it out, man. The other very cool thing is, is I got the Orange Rocker 32. Now, I've spent about 30 minutes playing it last night when I got it. Uh, I'm gonna show you the unbox clip as part of this video. And next week, I'm gonna have a demo of the amp. Uh, I, I don't wanna release anything too soon. <laughs> I've only had it a little bit and I don't wanna jump the gun. Um, now I do have the orange Rocker 30, which is actually behind me, the original. So that one runs off EL34s, the new Rocker 32 runs off EL84s. I got the 30 watt version, so it actually has four EL84s. So it's a British tube. Um, obviously the EL34 and EL84 are different, just fundamentally. And obviously the 32 being a combo, it's loaded with 10 inch speakers. They're the Voice of the World Gold Label. Um, so I, I'm probably going to do a comparison video and uh, let everyone hear that too. So over the next couple weeks, you're going to hear some orange comparisons. Um, so that'll be fun. It's a very cool amp. I like it so far. Here's the unbox and uh, keep your questions, comments, etc., coming and I will see you next week. So it's an exciting day today. This game. So let's open her up. And double box treachery.
There she is. And smells of Tolex and glue. Take a look at the back. There's the new tens, the gold labels. Let's see if we can get a shot of the inside. The outputs. 